welcome back. I'm Bonnie, and uh, this is a new series that we're starting. So we've been doing the uh, member highlight series because I want you guys to get to know some of the people that are on Angular Nation. Uh, and then also I found a lot of uh, people hiring and moving around with jobs with this whole uh, uh, crazy year of 2020. So this is the first of the uh, new series that we're going to be doing, which is the employer highlights. Uh, and I actually was talking last week to my friend Kyler Johnson. We were doing one of the uh, uh, member interviews and he was telling me about this great company that he works for. And so I wanted to highlight them and talk a little bit about that. So uh, I'm going to uh, ask him some questions. We'll just jump right into it. Uh, Kyler, before we get started, for anybody that didn't see the other uh, interview, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So, uh, hi everybody, I'm Kyler Johnson. Uh, I'm a principal UI software engineer for SecureWorks and a uh, big Angular fan. Been using it for a while and a uh, uh, big Linux advocate also. So, um, if you want to geek out about any of those things, feel free to hit me up. You can find me at Kyler Johnson Dev pretty much everywhere. And, uh, All right. yeah. And you're such a nice person. I really encourage you guys to reach out to Kyler if you have questions or anything because he's just he's just so cool. He's a very agreeable, uh, uh, friendly guy. Okay, so Kyler, let's talk about uh, SecureWorks. What does this company do? You want to uh, share your screen and and uh, tell us a little bit about what what SecureWorks does? Sure. So uh, as you can see, the uh, the official statement is we're revolutionizing cybersecurity, right? So uh, there's a lot of cool things we're doing, uh, like machine learning and a bunch of like human intelligence type stuff that allows us to identify threats, uh, establish trends and stuff like that for our clients. Uh, basically, we monitor servers. We have we capture uh, security incidents or threats or even possible security events, and uh, we record those. We and there's really two sides of our business from here. We have on we have security analysts on our staff that looks at those and investigates uh, those types of things and writes up reports for our clients for those clients who don't have that personnel on their staff. Uh, we also have a platform uh, that will help companies who do have uh, security analysts and uh, folks like that on their staff uh, do their job more efficiently. Uh, and that's the piece that uh, we work on as UI developers. This is a SaaS product. Um, you know, we're doing pretty cool things like we're using NX Mono Repo, and um, right now we're on Angular 10, moving to Angular 11. We're doing a lot of cool stuff there, a lot of data viz with D3, and uh, just to kind of help uh, these security analysts uh, visually see what these uh, threats look like, investigate these threats, assign them to certain uh, to people for project flow and, uh, and, you know, just kind of get an understanding of what the state of their security is. So, uh, basically to sum all that up, we have a SaaS product to help cybersecurity professionals, uh, do their job more efficiently. That's awesome. Okay. So, uh, can we, we want to take this back down? Uh, let's talk about you. What is your role in the team? Sure. So uh, we have, uh, so yeah, I work on the UI team and uh, we have kind of this big overarching UI team of about 30 developers. That's everybody that works on the UI. So, uh, and then within that team, we have certain functional teams that's responsible for various parts of the app. Uh, and those, those folks in within these functional teams are uh, subject matter experts on their part of the app. So I've worked on a few different functional teams um, there. And uh, right now I'm working on uh, redoing our doc site with Scully and uh, and uh, some onboarding type stuff to kind of help introduce new users to our platform and kind of see what's uh, what they're what it's capable of and how they can leverage it. That sounds fun. Okay, uh, so we talked about uh, kind of we talked a little bit about what the team is working on. Uh, let's talk about what uh, because this is the point of the interview because you guys are hiring, right? Uh, what what kind of uh, I, and I feel like we should even get into the team culture before we talk about that, but we'll get to that in a minute because I think that's really cool. Uh, but first, let's talk about what what are you looking for? Are you looking for one developer or a couple developers or what what are you looking for? 
The last update that I got, we have seven open positions for Angular developers. Wow. Seven so, Angular. So you want seven Angular developers? Yes. That's amazing. Uh, are you looking for a uh, junior, senior? You want people who have experience? Uh, right now we're looking for people with experience. Uh, and kind of what I mean by that, just to elaborate a little bit, is uh, we have the app that we have is pretty large. And uh, we're, we have some pretty complex NGRX implementations there. So uh, advanced knowledge of, uh, of RxJS and uh, kind of that data flow experience with NGRX and NGRX Entity um, uh, is, is something that we're looking for pretty heavily. Um, but yeah, that's uh, just to elaborate on that. If you have that kind of experience, um, you're probably a person that we would like to talk to. Okay, uh, what about location? Is it uh, remote? Is it in, in, uh, you're in Atlanta? Do they need to be in Atlanta? Uh, no, anywhere U.S. based. We uh, we will. Uh, the position is remote and uh, uh, but remote based in the U.S. All right, awesome. Okay, so uh, is there anything? We're going to talk about team culture in a minute, but first, is there anything in particular that you guys would like to avoid in a new hire? Uh, you know, we just want someone that is uh, that's you know, friendly and uh, likes to work in a team dynamic. We're very team oriented. Um, so uh, we we just want to make sure that uh, we have people who are approachable and um, Positive that sort energy. of thing. So people. yeah. So yeah, if, if you're excited about what you do, you, uh, you like to help others and uh, be part of a team, uh, contribute to something that's, uh, you know, a group effort and work in a team dynamic, then uh, you're what we're looking for. Yeah, and that actually brings us to our next question because I really want to talk about that team dynamic because we got into this a little bit last week during your uh, during your uh, member interview and I was just flabbergasted because this is like, this sounds like a great place to work. So tell us about this team culture. Sure, so yeah, one of my favorite things about the company is the team culture. So. Um, Despite the fact that we're remote, I still feel deeply connected to my teammates. Everybody is just like a video call away. If you need something, you can just ping somebody, hop on a video call with them. You can geek out of, over something you just learned, um, and they'll geek out with you. You can uh, you can ask them to look over something and that just for a sanity check, like, "Hey, am I crazy, or is this uh, or is this is this what we're trying to do here?" You know, just everybody's so approachable. Everybody's so friendly. We all help each other out, uh, and you know, just we have each other's back. So it's a, uh, it really does feel like a work family. Um, Why do you think that is? Like, how do they? Because I think, I mean, I've worked on a lot of teams, and some teams are like so cozy and really tight knit, and other teams are kind of not as supportive. Like, how do you think that they get that? What's the secret, Kyler, to that, like, supportive <laughs> vibe in that team, do you think? So yeah. I think it's, I think it starts uh, in leadership. Leadership is that way. So uh, leadership in our company, are they're just all very approachable, very friendly. Um, and even, even when they're super busy, they still make sure they give you the time and the support that you need to do what you need to do. And they'll even geek out with you in certain cases. So it's uh, uh, having leadership like that, that really sets the bar for that culture really helped. And then, you know, it's just a fun culture to be in. So it almost self-perpetuates. And then we have things like uh, like water coolers and uh, that sort of thing where we get online, get in a meeting, and we just kind of hang out for a while. So, uh, you know, like just talk about... Without an agenda? Yeah. No agenda, just you know, just people, just people talking, um, not necessarily work related or anything like that. Just, you know, about sports or it's about so important. whatever's We've going on. We've been doing on. that on Angular Nation lately. And it's super like, it just nowadays, like we miss that because every meeting has a purpose, but just to like hang out socially is, uh, yeah. you know, we got to do that online now. Absolutely. Uh, with the whole pandemic thing, I, I think, um, I think that's one of the reasons that uh, people tend to feel lonely and disconnected from everyone else is because uh, especially when we're working from home about the only interaction we have with others is business related. So it, it really helps to have more of a personal connection when you're just connecting with someone just to, just to talk. So 
Yeah. That's what I've been... All we these uh, events we have coming up on Angular Nation, I'm like, everybody turn your cameras on. Let's hang out. Yeah. I love it. Okay, I, I'm sold. I think that this sounds like such a great opportunity for seven uh, lucky Angular developers. So last question, how do we apply? Sure, so you, you can... You can... Uh, you can go to secureworks.com slash careers and uh, uh, you can kind of explore what careers we have open there. And uh, if you're interested, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, you can shoot me an email at kylerjohnsondev at gmail.com or kjohnson at secureworks.com. Uh, and I can help you get started with your application from there. And there's also a post with more information about this opening on the Angular Nation professional networking channel. And you can go there and you can reach out to Kyler from that post and, and or you can email him or you can, you know, yell his name <laughs> and he'll appear. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was awesome. And uh, I hope that uh, this will give you a little bit of visibility. We're just starting out our YouTube channel. So we have like four subscribers right now, I think, including you. Um, so, uh, but, but I hope that uh, some people can see this and see what a fun place. It sounds like a really, uh, I, I mean, I think the team culture is really, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, okay. So that's it for our very first employer highlight interview. Thank you so much, Kyler. Sure. Thank you. Bye everyone.